everyone, it's Emily from Naples Botanical Garden. I hope you all are doing well. Today I'm here to show you a really cool experiment that you can do in your neighborhood. So all you will need is a water bottle or a spray bottle full of room temperature water. Uh, you will need to go outside for this experiment. So please just make sure to practice safe social distancing. When you get back inside, please wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. Um, essentially just follow the guidelines that the CDC has put forth for COVID-19. Um, this experiment revolves around a really cool plant uh, that is native down here, native all over the southeastern United States. It is called resurrection fern. So in order to find a resurrection fern, you are first going to scout out an oak tree. So we're going to find ourselves an oak tree. And when you do, you're going to look all up and down the trunk of the tree. You're going to look at all of the branches anywhere that is essentially in reach of your water source. And you are looking for a plant that looks like this. So resurrection fern is an epiphytic plant. Uh, epiphytes are plants that live on top of other plants. Um, they are not harmful the way a parasite is harmful. So a good analogy is that an epiphyte is like a couch surfer. They just want a place to crash. Whereas a parasite would be a couch surfer that also raids your fridge and steals your wallet. So these guys, not harmful at all to this beautiful oak tree, but you'll notice they do look kind of dead almost. So they're really, really dry. They're really, really gray. And that is how they deal with drought. So the average plant can lose about 10% of its water content before it will die. Uh, humans, we can lose about 15% of our water content. The resurrection fern can lose anywhere between 75 and 97 percent of their water content and still be alive. So our experiment is going to be seeing where they get this common name resurrection fern where you're going to resurrect them from this very dead looking state, bring them back to life with a simulated rainstorm. So we're going to spray our resurrection fern here. And as we spray, if you feel like being silly, uh, you can add some thunder sound effects to make it a little more realistic. And you can see that it happens almost instantaneously. So look at this, already beautiful, lush, and green just in the areas that I've sprayed. It's really, really incredible to see this change happen right before your eyes. So I hope you are able to go out and find yourself some resurrection fern, replicate this experiment in real life, um, and then of course, go back to your house, wash your hands, be well, and stay planted.